gonna get real with you guys. I love Lotro. There's so many great things about the game, but I want to talk about the three things that very much make my gameplay experience not that exciting, and this has to do with specific classes. Now, I'm filming this video completely on a whim. I really don't know what else to say other than this. It's totally my personal opinion and from my experience, but there are three classes that I just never can enjoy playing. So let's talk about the three classes I would try to tell you to avoid just in the fact of you probably will get very bored of these classes very quickly. The first class I'm going to mention here, let's start off simple and let's talk about the Guardian. I have always disliked the Guardian. Now, like I've mentioned in my previous videos that I am more of like a mage person. I love healing. I love all those aspects. So if you gave me like your generic tank, I'm not always going to go for that choice. It's very rare I go for that choice. So that's kind of my just initial response with the Guardian. The number one thing I don't like about Guardians is that they are very slow killers. And yes, I've mentioned this in previous videos and I will highly, highly give so much credit that yes, it has been improved drastically. I'm not trying to pull from my past experience and judge it now. Guardians do have better skills now too, like AOE skills and a lot more flexibility with their skills instead of just DPS, 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 shield, DPS, all that stuff. Though in my experience, I really don't find them like a good class. Now for group content, you definitely would love a guardian. 100% they're great for that. But for soloing, which is what I do a lot more of, I just feel like there's just no good damage for them, which makes them slower killers. It's all about defense, defense, defense. And I don't know why you would want to make a class so much based on like shielding and defense when they're all out on their own, just trying to get through their quests. But like, why would I need all this like defense i don't get it like i just don't understand that aspect of the class and it's always still kind of been there and then some of their skills in general just aren't as great damage wise in comparison to other classes that you could play and then overall there's like all these different buffs that you can use which i don't see why you would really need them too much for soloing as a lot of them just help for more group content based areas so i overall just have the most boring time with guardians like just look at some of their skills some of their skills aren't even that original anyway like i feel like with champions and stuff you really get cool animations with your skills but with guardians it just seems like all right let's go in for a jab here we'll do like an overswing here and slice something like it's just so basic and i really wish that the guardian had more to it in just terms of not only better damage but also just like a better overall enjoyability to it in terms of like the animation the solo content for it it's just all pretty much not worth it <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the second class, which is the captain. I have a love-hate relationship with the captain. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really do like playing them for a little bit. And then it just sort of falls off because you just get so many skills based on buffs, which helps for group content yet again. You can do soloing with this, and I do actually prefer soloing with a captain versus a guardian, which might be a hot take too, but I feel like captains soloing just feels a lot more quicker. It does seem a little more feasible in terms of some of the skills that you have. Like they have less skills, essentially in comparison to guardian that could really help you with damage and stuff, but those skills that you utilize have really great damage output in comparison to some of the guardians ones like i really don't like the guardian skills though the one sadness i have about the captain is that because they do have such a lack of like melee abilities and there are just an extreme amount of buffs it is such a boring class to play after the first 20 minutes of logging into it with soloing in particular what can kind of help you and what also makes it just a little more boring is the fact that you have a companion uh so almost like a pet like a lore master has but you could use that companion to essentially go and attack and act like a tank so unless you're doing like multitasking with your companion in that regard a lot of people are just gonna have their captains go run around with their companion their companion's gonna act like a tank do all the work and then you just kind of go about your day overall i would say that captain's probably the 
best of the worst in this list. They're not my like worst worst class. I definitely would put them above Guardian. It's time guys, it's time to talk about the one class that you definitely will rip me to shreds about in the comments, but let's talk about the Warden. Here's the thing with the Warden. I think the Warden is automatically going to be one of those classes that's just hard to follow simply because it has a whole system that is very unique. It's something I've never really encountered within Lord of the Rings ever, with any class ever, and that's essentially the Gambit system. The Gambit system almost works like a formula. You essentially have to use like your three base skills and then put them in a certain combination to then get really great DPS or, you know, decent heals if you need a little bit of a heal. They can even do like some tanking. I'm not even gonna deny, I understand the appeal because it is a pretty well-rounded class and it is decent for soloing. I mean, it's almost like the captain where it's pretty well-rounded, but captain just sucks because what makes them well-rounded is that they're really good for group content and for healing others or buffing others, but when it's themselves, they don't really necessarily have that many skills to buff themselves in comparison to others. Warden's kind of like that class that can act like any of those types of classes, and I think what's really appealing to them too is that they have a pretty good DPS with some of their more ranged abilities, which the only other class that really has a decent one that's like that for wardens is going to be your hunter. Unless you're studying like the gambit combinations and seeing how certain skills are going to react or how they can kind of build up on each other, a lot of people aren't going to like the class just based off of those rules. Like, just learning all of that for one class is very extreme, and I don't know why it's like that, but I can see the appeal, like I mentioned. Now, I'm someone who's understood the system enough to not yet die on my warden, so I mean, that's a plus. There's just something about even the massive buildups that I've gotten off on my warden with the really great DPS skills that just don't seem incredibly worth it. Now you can definitely like one shot kill enemies, which is pretty incredible, but it's just almost like you're running around and you're not even like fighting. You're not doing like any melee. And I see a lot of people do a lot of range with Warden and it almost makes me think, just play a hunter. You could probably get more out of a hunter than with a warden because it would save you the trouble of having to follow these certain combinations. It just quite frankly just seems so tedious. I just don't see the fun in it. Maybe take a couple of minutes to set up a whole skill combination, immediately kill an enemy, and then you start heading on to the next, but you almost have to like prep and then kill, which is why I never really cared for burglars either for the longest because you had to sneak and you had to essentially have like all these buffs in place to really help you do great damage. And that's essentially how the warden is. You have to plan before you start running around. It's just not as exciting because of that. They almost seem like unnaturally overpowered in that regard of defense, which I never really understood with them. And that could just be a me thing. Though, I'm gonna say it guys, warden is just not the go-to. And I think it really is because you have to like plan out your skills. You have to study the skills first, and then you have to plan them out before you attack an enemy and then you do great DPS. But anyways, that's more or less my rant on those three classes. Now, I'm sure you all are going to go in the comments and say a couple of things, and I encourage you to. Please go ahead and comment. Please prove me wrong. Maybe I'm missing something. I would love to be missing something. Anyway, if you wanna check out some more of the Lotro videos I have, check out the links down below, and I will see you in the next video. So stay weird as always, weirdos.